Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday on the 1st of August, Google has announced three up-and-coming Chrome AR features that will soon make their way into the Chrome desktop browser. And if you are using Chrome, I thought you may be interested in a couple of these. Now, the first of three new features um, we have already spoken about on the channel. And I posted a whole video on this, and I'll leave a link down below and in the end screen to that video where Google uh, is integrating a new lens user interface into Chrome's image search. So in the stable version of Google Chrome, uh, just to do a quick recap, if you right click on an image, you will see search image with Google. Now, uh, the up and coming new lens feature is search with Google Lens. And if you click on that, you'll see it highlights that image or I can accordingly highlight a section of a web page or an image and yeah, you'll see after um, you make a selection, you'll see the visual matches and results yeah, in the side panel. So that's just a quick recap. Go check that video out uh, if you want more in-depth information. Now, the second new feature, I've only received part of this in Chrome Canary, which is an early preview version. So I'm just going to head to a image provided from that announcement where you will be able to compare products across sites with tab compare. So if you do find yourself jumping between multiple tabs to read reviews and research prices, Google says that in the next few weeks, starting in the, in the United States, Chrome will introduce tab compare, which is a new feature that presents an AI generated overview of products from across multiple tabs all in one place. And I actually think if you are doing a lot of online um, research before buying a product, this may be a nice move in the right direction. So the example Google gives is imagine you're looking for a new Bluetooth portable speaker for an upcoming trip, but the product details and reviews are spread across different pages and websites. Soon Chrome will offer to generate a comparison table by showing a suggestion next to your tabs. And here's that comparison table. And this is just a example from that announcement. Now I did say I had partly received this feature in Chrome Canary. And that's in version 129, which is the latest preview version. So if we head over to the history, yeah, you'll see product specification lists. And this is all to do with this new feature tab compare, where you'll actually be able to see the history of those tab comparisons when it comes to product specifications yeah, in the actual history. Um, so that's just part of the and part of part and parcel of that uh, feature in case you would be interested. And then the third new feature is what Google says, you'll be able to rediscover your browsing history. And once again, starting in the United States in the coming weeks, Google says they are making it easier to search for those visited sites in a more natural conversational way with the help of AR. So the example they give is um, you can access your history and type something like, what was that ice cream shop I looked at last week? Um, as in this example, and Chrome will show you relevant pages from your browsing history. And then using this feature, they say, will be entirely optional, which is a good move, I think. And you can easily turn it off uh, in your settings. And this feature will also never include any browsing data from in incognito mode, according to that announcement from Google. So there you have it. Um, the new kind of browsing history, uh, product specification tabs, and the new uh, uh, Google Chrome lens you are. Those are three up and coming new features that are going to be making their way uh, into the browser over the next coming weeks. And although Google says they will, will be rolling out soon, they don't give us an exact date and time. But I'm sure that when I notice these roll out in stable, obviously I'll post and keep you guys informed. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.